Hello and welcome to Voice Automated Instructional Videos and today we're going to learn how to make a dragon command and here we go. This is the what's called the dragon bar. You may also see the dragon bar in its new form which is just called dragon bar. It looks a little bit different and it's like this so accessing menus is different in each one. If I this is the, the the new dragon bar. If I click on settings I can access these items here or tools I can get to the uh, command center where I make a command and I can get to the vocabulary center where I do vocabulary. But switching back to the classic dragon bar if I want to access commands that's going to be in the tools menu if I want to access vocabulary, that's in the vocabulary menu. So creating commands and voca adding vocabulary to Dragon are two of the most important things that you can do with the program. <clears throat> so to begin with, we're going to create a command. So I click on Tools, and I click Manage Custom Commands. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get that command um, browser back open. So remember, it's just under Tools. Uh, there's command browser, but manage custom commands is probably the best way to go um, to access commands, create commands, and edit commands. So uh, tools and manage custom commands. So here we do not have any custom commands, but we can create some. So just click on the new button at the bottom of the manage custom commands window and you get the command editor to come up. So here, under the My Command Name, all we do is name the command, something that we recognize, and when we say that, this is, it will input the content of this command into the um, application, wherever, wherever the cursor is, or the target application. So for instance, I have over here in my Word document some sample text for us. So this is a physical exam uh, sample text to create a boilerplate command. So <clears throat> first, I'm going to take this and uh, copy it. So I'll right click, copy. You can always use Control C, standard for copying within Windows environment. Uh, and then I'm going to go back uh, to Dragon, um, my command editor. So for this example, I'm just going to call this a, a physical exam. Insert. I could call it whatever I want, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, but I want to call it something that I can remember and that is is unique and not something that you would just normally say. Like you wouldn't say patient or you wouldn't just have it as one word as exam because then that could be construed as just regular text when you're dictating just not good idea so content I'm gonna paste that in there now of course um, I can also uh, type um, type information in here as well or I could always speak information just using dragon I'm now adding custom text. So on and so forth. So I'll go ahead and remove this. I'll click Save and then I will now have in my Manage Custom Commands dialog box the physical exam insert. So if I'm in an electronic record system, let's just mimic that using Notepad and if I turn on my mic, I will say the command physical exam insert and it will insert that text. Physical exam insert. That is a straight text command. Now, if I wanted to create a command with different fields, I can certainly do that as well. So what we're going to do is create the SOAP template. And so a SOAP template is subjective, objective, assessment, and plan. And we'll have field markers in there so that we can jump from field to field. Oh, 
Okay, let me make a quick correction to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in here a header, subjective, colon, and then I'm going to put a left square bracket and a right square bracket indicating a field. Then I'll put in, I'll put in an extra line there, objective, and then I'll put in a left square bracket and a right square bracket. The same with assessment, left square bracket, right square bracket, and then also with plan. Oops, uh, left, right, left square bracket, right square bracket. So now that I've created these fields, I can click Save, and now I will have another template called the SOAP template. Now, fields or commands with variable fields in them are a little bit different in how they work. They present you with a format of a report and then allow you to move from field to field to fill it out. So I'll show you here. Let me delete this text. So this is our little mock EMR entry box. SOAP template. Scratch that. SOAP template. The patient comes in complaining of shortness of breath, comma, difficulty breathing, comma, and severe headache, period next field. You can then say whatever you want into any field, next field, and complete the document, next field, as necessary, period. So that's such a fast, easy way to create a template that has fields like subjective, objective, assessment, and plan.